Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Hey, a group of Beaumont parents have started a petition, a petition that they say could change the way BISD board members are elected. Some parents say their voices are not being heard and believe a new system would make a huge impact in Beaumont. But will it be that easy to have things changed? Michael Seiden joins us live with one parent to explain his support for this effort. Michael. Jackie, this petition is still in the early stages, but I have Andre Kokonos, who is the parent who's leading the charge behind this. Hey, and uh, what, is, what is this petition all about? Basically, we are petitioning the, uh, the voters of the, the entire district to uh, get 15 percent of the voters to sign to, to allow us to vote as a district to change the way the board is elected. And it's a, it's a, a district-wide thing. It's just not a Sally Curtis thing. It did start at the board meeting when I was there. We did our case, of course, Sally Curtis, and I did notice other, you know, moms and dads were upset from all across the district about the construction schedule. I mean, Martin's behind schedule, Blanchett's behind schedule, and there's some people upset. And so we feel like we can get a grassroots effort here to get everybody involved and hopefully uh, change the way and, and give better, give the taxpayer a better voice to the board. Now, is, is this a vote of non-confidence uh, against the board? Well, I think there's there's been some non-responsiveness from the board, you know, to the taxpayers, and this would be a, a way to to allow more voice, more taxpayer voice to the board. Okay. Well, earlier today we uh, talked to Tom Neal, who is on BISD board right now, and uh, he basically said he personally would like to see consistency between the city and the school district, saying it's a disappointment when we have an election and there's a small number of voters adding that if this would create more excitement, more voter turnout, then he thinks it could work. Now, one thing, we put in a call to BISD attorney Melody Chappelle, and she says in order to make changes to an elected board, you would have to get approval from the Department of Justice. But again, this is the early stages of the petition, and, and like Andre was saying, um, again, you know, you're saying that this is early stages, and absolutely, this is the early stage, and what we're trying to do is we're just let, getting the taxpayers involved and getting, let, let them decide if they want to make a change in the board, because it's, all we're doing, the petition allows the, uh, the election to happen in May 2010. Okay, so obviously early stages of the petition will be interesting to see what happens. For now, we are live in Beaumont. Michael Seiden, 12 News. And Michael, if you're still with me, to be clear, what precisely does the petition ask for? It's about the trustees, correct? Yes, yeah. The, the, the petition, basically what they're asking for is where you get the 12,000, is that would be 15,000 of the registered voters in this district. And what they're asking is, you know, that the board considers these two at large bids, which is similar to city council. Similar to city council. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.